Byron Katie in A Thousand Names for Joy says some really dramatic statements in there, really challenging to how we live our lives and the perspectives we take. And one of them that caught my eye, I'd like to share with you today. She said in one sentence, until we love cancer, we cannot love God. How black and white can you get? But if we probe it a little more deeply, it gives us an opportunity to rise out of the ways that we allow ourselves to suffer. Let me quote her directly. She says, it doesn't matter what symbols we use. It could be poverty or loneliness or loss. It's the concepts of good and bad that we attach to them that make us suffer. Isn't that the truth? When we go through something, let's say it's about of loss, we lose something that we cherished within our lives, or we lose a personal ability that we used to have, and we attach that as something bad, something that's hard, we immediately start to suffer. I think what's interesting about this, as I've seen in my own life, is there's something with me when I attach good and bad that wants to make it objective so that it's okay that I'm really sad about it. For instance, a couple years back, I suffered the loss during a large event that I had created. The weather was terrible and I lost the gift to the community. I lost a lot financially. I attached a bad onto that in some ways, I tried to see the good, but in attaching bad, it gave me some false idea that I was putting my feet on, that it was okay to feel the level of sadness. I suffered not because I felt sad, I suffered because I attached judgment to it. If I had bypassed that whole concept and just let myself feel the sadness, there would have been peace. If we allow ourselves in relation to the events in our lives, whether they're comfortable or uncomfortable, to simply feel fully what it is in that moment that is evoked, we bypass the suffering peace. And it's not long after that we move through the painful or uncomfortable emotions. In fact, we find that we're present to ourselves, which is a source of consolation. Within your own life, what is one area that you have named and you have attached good and bad? It may be something that's happening right now, or it may be something that you're trying to avoid. For instance, working furiously so that you can have the exact car that you want or the exact lifestyle that you want. And you work furiously out of fear of loss, which is attaching bad to the thought of not having those things. The suffering comes from the concept, does not come from the experience. So today, name one area where you attach a concept. And see if you can say with Byron Katie, until I love cancer, I cannot love God. Let that be your marker of discernment.